All right, and next, second lift for uh, shoulder day, we got side laterals, which I'm gonna do starting off with these 10 pound plates. Uh, again, like I said in the last video, I do not have dumbbells. So I do what I can. Uh, and usually I would do this differently and gradually build up as I go up, as I continue in sets, but I kind of skip from only having like 10 pounds to 20 pounds. Now with side laterals, a lot of people do these wrong. This is the secret to getting your shoulders big and wide. Um, you know, um, a lot of people want to bend their elbow and use momentum and do all this stuff when in reality, if you do them correctly, you really ain't got to go that heavy, man, to really focus on, uh, on your deltoids here. You got your, of course, front delt, delt, and then you got your deltoid side and rear, okay? in the back, which is gonna be activated by any pulling movement, okay? So, anyway, just kinda of watch on this. As I go up in weight and actually use a dumbbell as opposed to this 10 pound plate, I'm not gonna be able to have as good a form because they're very awkward uh, dumbbells. You'll see what I mean whenever I, I get to it. Uh, so I may have to kinda of cheat and, and improvise a little bit. But anyway, without further ado, and again, I'm gonna be doing higher reps on these. I've got to put my fingers in the middle here, okay, so starting off with them, feet, decent stance here, good base, down to the side, my elbows aren't real bent, okay, and then out, Okay, and you don't want to go all the way back down to your sides because you want constant tension pumping on those muscles, on that deltoid, okay? So uh, you want to find your sweet spot when you come back down and then explode back up, if that makes sense. So here, up, 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 up. Okay, I'm going to do one more set at the same weight, 10 pounds in each hand, and do a lot of reps like I just did, kind of get them activated, okay, get that mind-muscle connection before I go heavier, reduces chance of risk of injury whenever you have that mind-muscle connection and you're, you're, you're focused and you're doing the movement properly. Feel it. There we go. About 15 this time. And up, pumping. Two, three, four, five, three, seven, eight, nine. As you can see, even with lighter weight, if you do them right and enough reps, even just 10 pounds can eventually can get heavy and be hard to do. I really want to get the separation if I can get good lighting in my front side and rear delts here. Lighting's not the best in here. Mm. 
I'm gonna do four sets of these total. Okay. Next, I'm gonna use the dumbbell, which is 20 pounds. It's got 10 on each side, and the bar weighs some, so it's over 20 pounds here. All right. I'm gonna move this over. Something to grab onto with the opposite hand because I've only got one dumbbell, so I'm doing one-handed. Okay, this will kind of stabilize me. Here we go. Scoot that over. Okay. See if we can really kind of zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Scoot back a little so you can see. Starting to get a pump now. Okay. And then to finish off and really drive it home with my side delts, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the beginning where I started with the tins and rep it out. Try to do about 15 to 20. Okay. There we go. I'm able to do better form when it's lighter weight. And like I said, those other, that dumbbell is kind of awkward to use. So I have to kind of come in like this. But really, you want to. Then it's just my delt that's working right here. I can feel it. Oh, no, there we go. 
Kind of a side view, a few reds here. I'm barring them. A few more here. Okay, that's it. Okay.